So, you have an alien movie for me? Yes, sir, I kind of do. Very exciting. We're talking prequel, sequel, <laughs> spin-off? Oh, it's something. I'm almost sure of it. I love it. So what happens in this thing? Well, we're gonna meet these two scientists, Elizabeth and Charlie, and they find these drawings that seem like aliens are inviting us to this certain moon, right? Okay. So then a couple years later, this whole space crew is in a multi-year cryosleep. And there's this creepy android David walking around being all creepy. Oh, a very creepy android. And so then everybody gets woken up so the boss lady Meredith can tell them what the mission's gonna be. Wouldn't they get briefed before being frozen for multiple years? Oh, you'd think so, but no. Why? Because. That works. And this whole thing's like this trillion dollar mission that's been funded by this super old guy Wayland, who's definitely dead. Sounds like he's dead. Yeah, he's for sure not alive anymore, so then the whole crew go into this space cave, because they want to find these aliens that they think created life on Earth called engineers. Right. And they have like these state-of-the-art mapping and tracking robots, and they also detect that there's oxygen, so they all take their helmets off. Well, why would they do that? What if there were like alien viruses in the air or something? Oh, well, because they're the worst scientists you can imagine. Oh, they are. Okay, gotcha. And then they see these holograms of these engineers running away from something. What are they running away from? Unclear. So it's gonna be like a big reveal later? No. Oh, okay. And then they find the body of an engineer that's been dead for like thousands of years, so these scientists Fifield and Milburn get all scared and they leave, but it's dead. Yeah, and then all the other scientists go into this room and there's a bunch of weird alien things and some black goo. And what's the black goo? Unclear. So it's gonna be like a big reveal later? No. Alright. And then all of a sudden they gotta get out of there fast because there's this massive storm that shows up that not even the captain saw coming. Oh no. But he says it's gonna be gone by morning so it's all good. If he didn't even see it coming how does he know that it's gonna be gone? I don't know. So then most of the crew make it back to the ship but Fifield and Milburn they get lost in the caves. Didn't they leave first and don't they have state-of-the-art mapping and tracking technology? They do, yeah. They didn't use that, I guess, so they get lost. Well, well, at least the captain can monitor them and make sure they're okay. Yeah, but he's not gonna. Oh, he's not. Yeah, he's pretty dismissive of them, and then he hooks up with Meredith, so he doesn't watch them at all. Very irresponsible. So then this terrifying genital space cobra is gonna pop out and start hissing at them. Oh my god, so they run away? Nope. Milburn is like, oh wow, this thing's so beautiful, I'm gonna touch it. What? Yeah, so then it attacks them. These are the guys that left because they got scared? Yeah, they think aliens are cute now, so they die. Sure, I bet they do. And meanwhile on the ship, Charlie is all sad and depressed now. Oh, how come? Because he was looking for a massive scientific breakthrough and all he got was a massive scientific breakthrough. What? And so then David spikes his drink with some space goo and basically puts a parasite in him. Wait, so David's an evil android? He might be, but also he's just kind of doing stuff. Very weird. So then Charlie sleeps with his wife, but the next day he starts to turn into something spooky, so Meredith burns him alive. Oh my god. Yeah, and then stuff starts getting real crazy. Fifield is a zombie now, so that sucks. And also Elizabeth seems to be three months pregnant with an alien baby. Wow, 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 oh. Yeah, so she gets inside this surgery machine, but this thing was only built for a man. Oh, so it doesn't work? No, it works. She gets the thing out. So why even mention? I don't know. Okay. So then she's gonna discover that that Wayland guy is actually alive. So that's gonna be this huge twist. Oh, why is that a twist? Why'd he do that? Oh, well, now that you mention it, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Oh, but then we're gonna have this big reveal where you find out that Meredith is his daughter. Okay, is that gonna affect anything? You know, it's not, not really, but I figure there should be some twists, so. Oh, twists that don't really change anything are tight. Isn't that right, third cousin? Oh, I didn't realize we were third cousins. Yeah, this whole time. Huh. So should I keep going? Or? Yeah, you could keep going. All right, so anyway, this Whalen guy is about to die, so he wants to kind of meet his maker and find the secret to eternal life. Okay, okay. And then he immediately doesn't. Oh. Yeah, they all go see this engineer that David found that's still alive, and it just instantly rips David's head off and kills Wayland. Wow. Yeah, and turns out this whole place is just like a weapon storage facility. Well, then why'd they leave a bunch of maps to it for the humans? Oh, unclear. Huh. So now this engineer wants to get on a ship and go destroy life on Earth. Didn't they create life on Earth? Yeah, but sometimes times to create, one must first destroy. But they created, they did that. Yeah, so then the captain and his crew, they sacrificed themselves by crashing their ship into the engineer's ship. Oh, did they all have to die? No, but because the movie's almost over, it's kind of like, you know, may as well. Oh, okay. So then the freaking alien ship crashes and it starts to roll and Meredith and Elizabeth have to run. And they run off to the side. No, they try to outrun the ship in the same direction it's rolling in. What? Yeah, so Meredith gets crushed to death, but Elizabeth falls and rolls to the side at the last second. Oh, very bad at running away from things. And so now David's head starts talking to Elizabeth and he's like, bad news, that engineer guy is coming to kill you. How does he know that? Unclear. So now Elizabeth has to survive. Man, it's gonna be tough for her to survive an encounter with an engineer. Actually, 
Hopefully it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, somehow that alien baby that was inside her has grown to be massive, and so he just kills the engineer, no problem. Oh, her demon baby saved the day. It did. So now David is like, okay, come pick me up. There are dozens of engineer ships, so we can just take one of those and travel. There were a bunch of ships available. Why did the engineer try to kill her instead of just getting on a ship and continuing his mission? Well, she's the main character of the movie. Right, okay. So then her and David's head go space exploring. Oh, well, that's fun. What's Elizabeth going to eat? Oh, that's an off-screen problem, so we don't have to worry about that. And then an alien bursts out of the engineer's chest. Oh, like an alien. It's all connected. Sure, and so that's about it. What do you think? Well, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We could get some great veteran actor to play that Waylon guy. Oh, well, actually, I was thinking we could get a younger actor and just slap a bunch of old man makeup on him. Yeah, I feel like that might look silly. It might be, but we have to take that chance. Oh, are we doing flashbacks to him younger or something? Not even, no. So why not just get an actual old actor? Well, well you know, that is a good question. I don't have an answer, but I'd like to do the makeup thing anyway. Oh, okay. Hey guys, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you liked it. If you did, you know, press the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment and all the YouTube standard things. Also, let me know if you have ideas for other movies I should do pitches for. As always, check back soon for a new video. Bye bye <laughs>